Hi students, welcome. In this video, we are going to study about Kirchhoff's law. Here students, we will see the definitions, example and derivation of Kirchhoff's law. So students, Kirchhoff's law is emissivity is equal to absorptivity. That is here students, Kirchhoff's law states that emissivity of a body is equal to its absorptivity when body remains in thermal equilibrium with its surroundings. Okay, now see here. Emis here epsilon is the emissivity and alpha is the absorptivity. Now see here, suppose this is a large body, okay, con having the properties of black body. Okay, this is a large body and this body has hollow space inside as you can see here and walls of this body have uniform temperature now suppose inside this large body we have kept a small body having area a1 as you can see here okay due to the temperature of this large body it emits radiations on this small body as you can see here he emitted radiations are given by eb that is in this case eb is the emissive power of the black body okay now see here due to see here in this case at third when the when the the small body and the large body reaches at thermal equilibrium then at this condition the rate of energy absorbed and the rate of energy emitted are equal that is here this uh, when this large body and small body have or reach the thermal equilibrium at that condition the rate of energy absorbed by the small body is equal to rate of energy emitted by the small body so here now see for body a1 here here rate of energy absorbed is here given by alpha 1 a1 and eb this rate of energy absorbed is given by alpha 1 is for absorptivity of body 1 a1 is the area of the body 1 and eb is the energy um, this uh, um, emissive power of the black body which is absorbed by the small body okay and here rate of energy emitted by the small body is given by a1 into e1 okay a1 into e1 here a1 is the area of the small body and e1 is the emissive power of the small body okay even is the emissive power of the small body now further here we will simplify this a1 a1 gets cancelled out so here we will left left with e beam is equal to e1 upon alpha 1 that is your emissive power of the black body is equal to emissive power of uh, small body upon emissive power or upon absorptivity of the small body okay now further see here now we will replace this a1 body of small body we will remove this a1 small body from this large body and now we are putting here a2 small body inside this large body as you can see here okay now for this a2 body here again the energy absorbed by the a2 body is given by alpha 2 a2 eb and energy emitted by the A2 body is given by A2 E2. Now again, here we will simplify this by cancelling the A2 A2. Here EB is equal to E2 upon alpha 2. As you can see here EB EB is the same. So here we can write down from above equations as EB is equal to that is emissive power of the black body or and in this case large body is equal to e1 upon alpha 1 is equal to e2 upon alpha 2 and we can write down it as e upon alpha that is emissive power of body upon uh, emissive power of any body upon absorptivity of any body small body okay in this case
now further see here from this we can conclude that from this equation we can conclude that Kirchhoff's law states that at any temperature the ratio of total MSU power E to total absorptivity alpha is constant for all substances which are in thermal equilibrium with their environment as you can see as we have seen here both in both the cases for both the bodies the bodies are in thermal equilibrium with its environment that is uh, here in this case uh, large body or black body okay small body is in thermal equilibrium with the uh, large body okay now further see here we can write down it as now eb is equal to e upon alpha but see here we can write down this as uh, alpha is equal to e upon eb that is absorptivity is equal to msu power of any body upon msu power of the black body okay now see here this term e upon eb we can write down as epsilon is equal to e upon eb that is emissivity is given by e upon eb that is emissivity is equal to msu power of any body upon msu power of a black body okay now see here in this here the e is the emissive power of any body and eb is the emissive power of a black body now so from this we can write down this equation as alpha is equal to epsilon so hence he, here we have proved Kirchhoff's law that is epsilon is equal to alpha so now further see here here for this um, alpha that is absorptivity is always less than one so that here msu power of any body is always less than msu power of the black body so from this we can write down a definition as Kirchhoff's law states that emissivity of a body is equal to its absorptivity when the body remains in thermal equilibrium with its surroundings okay so students in this video we have understood about Kirchhoff's law. Thank you students for watching this video. Like, share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.